Tonight, we're talking about carry comps, the Harrington Arms HC9C carry compensator. Are you ready? Stand by. So I've already done a video with how carry comps work. You're probably seeing it flash across the top of your screen, and there's a link down in the description that you'll probably ignore. But for brevity's sake, I'll summarize it for you. Carry comps work by redirecting the gas of the ignition of the bullet. Rather than just out the muzzle causing recoil, it vents it in useful directions such as straight up and to the side. So straight up, obviously, helps combat muzzle climb so the muzzle doesn't rise as much so it doesn't need as much to recover and the ports on the sides help kind of narrow up the wiggle in the recoil arc. And for a long time people said oh compensators make your pistols unreliable and that is true if you get too aggressive a comp and use too gassy of an ammo that isn't quite hot enough. However carry comps are designed to work specifically with the OEM springs that come in the stock gun and the cheap ammo that you're feeding your gun that you should be ashamed of. I can't believe you put that aluminum and steel cased crap in your multi hundred dollar pistol that you've now bolted a hundred dollars onto the muzzle of. But hey man, it's the Rona and I understand there's no ammo on the shelf, so you get a pass this time. So the HC9C does that and does it well. With the stock configuration, I tested Winchester White Box Wolf Steel Cased and a bevy of other ammos, including defensive ammos, and the gun ran well. I will say with some of the lighter 115 grain target loads, brass ejection wasn't as positive, but that's what you'd expect when you have a compensator. You're gonna notice the brass isn't thrown quite as far. Throwing some negatives in there because it would not be a humble marksman review if you didn't get some negative things, cause nothing's perfect. So mine actually showed up with a little booger of Cerakote on the threading, and initially when I was threading it onto the pistol, it kind of stopped the compensator from where it actually needed to be seated. But with enough anger. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always angry. I was able to turn through it and get the compensator where it's supposed to be, not that big a deal. The other side is that because it is Cerakoted, it will take some holster wear. So if you see if I can get this to focus, you can see just a little bit of holster wear from my holster rubbing on the thing. I mean, that's what Cerakote does, guys. It wears out. It's honestly not a super awesome coating as far as durability is concerned. It's, it's serviceable, but it does get a cool patina, and a lot of people like the battle-worn look. So that's not that big a deal. So some things I do really like about the HC9C, and honestly, I do really like the comp. I think it works well. But first, we need to talk about the sacred relationship between YouTube creator and you, the subscriber. I make these world-class firearms videos for you to watch and enjoy. And you watch these videos. You hit like on the videos. Thanks, guys. And then you get custom fanny packs made. So when you go to the Nut and Fancy fan club meetups with your custom fanny pack featuring my logo, all the bros there will know about the good work we're doing here on the channel. But if you can't find your fanny pack money and I understand it gets lost sometimes, I will settle for a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and be sure and check out the description. There is some cool stuff. If you like my content, I have a Patreon page, which a dollar will get you access to my blog with three to five posts a month that will help you become a better shooter and give you a behind the scenes look at what's going on with the channel. I try to provide a lot of value over there and I get some great feedback, so back to the show. It works pretty good with the lines of the blocky Glock pistol without looking like an alien thing sort of scabbed onto the gun, so I like the way that it looks. It's made out of aluminum and it's super light. You can see it's kind of skeletonized there. It's relieved on the side, so it stays real lightweight. It's only about 0.6 ounces. It's got set screws that are sort of off center there, and I've seen some compensators that have a single set screw sort of right there in the middle, and the guide rod can batter it, so it's nice to see a well thought out comp. The screws are set with blue Loctite, so if you want to take the thing off, you just have to heat it up a little bit. It's no big deal. So I know you guys, I know you're really excited about charts and graphs and things like that. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. I did shoot this with the Mantis X on it. I just lost 
the screenshots of it. So you can see me shooting it with the Mantis X on there, and I have written down in my script that it reduced the recoil by about 25%. I just lost the charts to show you that. So yes, it actually does work and it reduced both the muzzle rise and the recoil width by 25%, which is a pretty good reduction for just a little six ounce thing scabbing onto your half by 28 threaded barrel. And the federal government mandates that I tell you because Harrington Arms sent this to me on the T&E program, then I tell you that. So now you know that and the federal government is happy. But all in all guys, the HC9C is a decent comp. If you're new to the comp game, I think this would be a great first comp to check out. So I really honestly like this comp. It makes the gun about a Glock 17 length, a little bit longer than a Glock 17. It's about the same length as a TLR1 hanging off the muzzle. So that's pretty cool. It does what it says it's going to do by reducing recoil, which is pretty cool. It's very light, it's made out of aluminum, so it doesn't add a lot of weight to the pistol. It is cool looking, it increases the aesthetic. If you wanna up your flex on Instagram, it certainly helps you do that. It's a good value at about 80 bucks, so that's not bad either. And it makes your gun really loud, so people won't know you're shooting nine millimeter at the range. They'll think, wow, that guy's shooting a really powerful cartridge, but really it's just compensated pistol. So that's what I got for you guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.